1968 No S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR68 Cameo by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1968 No S. Dime is among the most elusive of the coveted No S. Proof issues of various denominations. Only the 1975 No S. Roosevelt Dime issue is rarer. It was also the first No S. issue of the modern era, and one for which no records are available. It is estimated that no more than a couple of dozen were struck, and cameo examples are the rarest graded, as deep cameo pieces are unknown. This gleaming example is well contrasted and shows no more than a trace of rose color on either side. A single tick on President Roosevelt's cheek is apparently all that precludes a PR69 grade. It was sold for $30,550. Number 6. 1946 Brooker T. Washington Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. The 1946 Booker T. Washington Half Dollar is plentiful in grades through MS66, and it is occasionally seen in MS67, but finer pieces are major rarities. Vibrant, luminous mint luster exhibits a bold strike and vivid multicolor toning. Crimson, forest green, gold, lilac, and powder blue hues are among the many colors. It ended up selling for $31,200. Number 5. 1967 Kennedy Half Dollar from Special Mint Set. So-called SMS Half Dollar. Graded as MS69 Ultra Cameo by NGC. When silver coinage was discontinued at the end of 1964, the government also discontinued issuing proof and mint sets, and they stopped putting mint marks on coins. Beginning in 1965, special five-coin sets were issued under the new name of Special Mint Set. These special sets were issued through 1967 and regular proof sets were again produced in 1968, but now at the San Francisco Mint. While the special mint set coins were substantially higher quality than regular circulation strike coins, they were not the same quality as proof coins, and for that reason, examples are rarely seen at the top grade levels. This amazing, nearly perfect, superb gem has brilliant silver surfaces with extraordinary field-to-device contrast. It ended up selling for $31,200. Number 4. 2000 Lincoln Cent Struck Over a Sacagawea Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. A remarkable double denomination error. The first strike was normal, between Sacagawea Dollar dies on a Sacagawea manganese alloy planchet. Somehow, despite the great disparity of diameter, the coin ended up between Lincoln Cent dies, and was struck a second time. The collar die was either absent, or unable to rise above the anvil die due to the large dollar diameter. The cent strike is at 430 relative to the dollar strike, nestled just inside the dollar rim. This remarkable error coin fetched a sum of $35,250. Number 3. 1927 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 plus read by PCGS and later confirmed by CAC. The 1927 S. Cent is a challenging issue to acquire in full red condition and at the gem level such pieces are major rarities. The present example boasts both a plus designation and a CAC green label, and it is one of the PCGS coin fax plate coins. Satiny luster abounds on each side, yielding orange gold, rose, and faint greenish hues, all of which fall into the red color category. Abrasions are nearly non-existent, and only a few microscopic specks are visible. It was sold for $36,000. Number 2. 1943 S. Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1943 S. is among the scarcest of the late date walking Liberty halves in high grade, with most examples seen grading no finer than MS65 and MS66. Pristine, luminous mint luster displays a blend of satiny and frosty textures as it forms vibrant cartwheel bands around each side. Liberty's head is well defined and the often weak branch hand shows partial thumb separation. On the reverse, the eagle's trailing leg is weak as usual on the feather details. It was sold for $38,400. Number 1. 1969 S. Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded as MS63 Red by PCGS. This rarity features delicate copper gold color with slight cloudiness over the upper obverse. On the reverse, a scattering of minor carbon spots culminates in two larger areas, below the right side of the steps and between the third and fourth columns in the memorial. 
The strike is well defined and the doubling obvious, especially on the base of the L in Liberty and nearby letters, where it is visible to the unaided eye. It was sold for $38,400. There you have it, seven rare coins that could be your ticket to a fortune. If you're as excited as we are, hit that like button, subscribe for more hidden gems, and check out our other coin adventures. Who knows, your next big find might be just around the corner.